It appears to me that Walmart is a slave master. They're not promoting the agenda of Klaus Schwab, the WEF, globalist, Jesuit, and the agenda of tyrants. Welcome to 2030. You will own nothing while they own everything. We will rent everything from them and they say we will be happy, which means we will be happy slaves. Walmart is now promoting subscribe to your favorites, which means life via subscription. You'll own nothing and simply renting everything. I believe this pre-programming began with the idea of renting and subscribing to movies and music. Watch this. So I really don't own any movies. I subscribe to Netflix. I don't really own much music. I have Spotify or Pandora. Besides music and movies, what else will be by subscription? In the future, it will be car subscription. Uber and Lyft were actually a part of the pre-programming. That where if you can summon a car anytime, anywhere you want to, why would you own it? You might say, but that is convenient. Remember, convenience will be the death of liberty. What happens by 2025? Their projection is that by 2025, between 6 and 11 million cars just in America are going to be subscription only. And by 2030, what happens? You put those trends together, I don't know why anyone owns a car in 2030. What else will be by subscription? Maybe you subscribe to clothes and clothes come to you, you wear them once, they're taken away, they're recycled and clean and they're given to someone else. Not only clothes like tuxedos. What about daily wear? Could even go into daily wear as well. If, again, it was something that was being recycled and cleaned and sent on to someone else. Would you subscribe to daily wear, even underwear soiled by other people's body fluid? What about furniture? If we can imagine clothes, why not furniture? Tools and appliance is also on the list. What about tools or kitchen stuff that you only use occasionally? Here's Malcolm Roberts, a politician, putting the nail in their coffin. It's designed to shift the global economy away from private ownership into what the World Economic Forum calls an access model, where you own nothing and instead rent goods and services from the world's billionaires and billionaire corporations. He states it clearly, it's slavery, life via subscription. But in reality, it's a form of slavery to a closed loop economy where you have less and the rich have more, way more. So what about individuals who are non-compliant to government's draconian policies? Simply put, their subscription will be canceled. No longer would they have access to food, goods, and services. Their life will also be canceled. Beware of this new version of the cancel culture. Warn others before it's too late.